I think a lot of people when they go carnivore start to see things about the lion diet and think, oh, like if I do the stricter version, then I'll feel even better. Hey my friends, it's been a while since I've made a video and I have a lot to catch you up on. I'm actually just sitting outside enjoying some beautiful weather. But I wanted to share with you guys a little bit more about why I stopped doing the lion diet and why I personally do not think that stricter is better and also why I think that often going too strict with a diet can lead to more problems down the road. Um, that being said, if you're doing the lion diet and if you feel great, and feel like it's the right diet for you, then by all means, keep doing it. I'm not trying to convince anybody to change the way they're eating. So if you're not familiar with the lion diet, basically what it is is only eating ruminant meats, salt, and water. So it's a stricter version of the carnivore diet where you're just eating ruminant animals, which pretty much consists of beef, lamb, goats, bison, venison. So things like chicken, pork, and dairy are not included in the lion diet. And so my first two months of carnivore, I did something really close to the lion diet, but I was not strict about it. Occasionally I would have just a little bit of chicken or pork or um, a little bit of dairy just here and there, but not much. Most of what I was eating was just beef and salt. And if you've been following my story for a while, you'll know at the time I was really sick. I wasn't able to spend much time out of bed at that point um, in my chronic illness journey. I won't go into detail about all the illnesses and symptoms I was dealing with in this video. You can look at past videos if you want to learn a little bit more about that. But basically I had this mindset of stricter means more healing. Like the stricter I go with my diet, the more healing I will see and the faster I will get better. And that's really all I cared about. Like I would do anything to get better. Did the lion diet very, very strict for about eight months. During this time, I was continuing to research about nutrition and just ways to naturally heal from chronic illness. And I decided to try raw dairy. I became really interested in that. And I actually did really well with it. One of the first things that I introduced was cultured raw A2 butter. And that went really well. And then I, I believe I tried wild caught salmon that was flash frozen and that went really well too. While doing the lion diet, I was severely deficient in folates as well as vitamin C and vitamin D. Vitamin D is something I've always been deficient in, so that's not something I, I believe at all was related to the diet. Vitamin C is a really interesting topic that I would love to do another video on. I'm not gonna go into it in this one, but just know that I basically had untraceable levels of vitamin C. As for folates, I was very, very low on folates as well, almost untraceable, and I was having organs. I started eating more raw liver, and then I incorporated egg yolks as well because egg yolks are pretty high in folates, so my levels are starting to come up. And again, I will make a video about folate deficiency and my experience with it and how I'm trying to get my levels up. But that is another thing that I don't believe was caused by the diet. I've been deficient in, in vitamins for quite some time. Personally, now I believe that if any animal-based food comes from a good source and is pasture-raised and fed the diet that it's been in intended to eat, that you really shouldn't react to those foods. And if you are reacting to those foods, that's a big indicator of nervous system dysregulation. This is something I talk a lot about on Instagram. So make sure to go follow me at Ribeye Rach if you're interested in learning more about that. But basically, if your body is reacting to foods that are nourishing for your body that are good for you, that is a sign that something isn't right, that your nervous system is perceiving these nourishing foods as a threat and giving you a reaction. And that's something that can be addressed. 
and something that can be healed. I think one of the problems with doing a really strict diet like the lion diet is often people will be fearful of trying other foods. They'll start to associate other foods as things that will give them reaction and when you associate foods with a reaction or a negative symptom that strengthens these neural pathways in your brain which make you continue having those reactions and can actually just make them worse in the long run and personally i think you know you can be healthy on the lion diet but i don't think it's an optimal diet arguably for anyone especially long term i saw improvements in how i felt when i started incorporating salmon and raw dairy as well and also corn and soy free chicken and pork i did really well with those when i started introducing them and all all while doing these reintroduction of foods i was doing a brain retraining program called dnrs which has helped me with food reactions more than anything else that i've tried i'll put a link to the dnrs website in the description i share a lot about it on my Instagram as well as I have more videos about it on my other channel called Rachel Elizabeth if you just type that into YouTube you should be able to find my other channel anyways I'm not a huge fan of the lion diet because I feel like it's more putting a band-aid over symptoms rather than actually looking at the root cause of why you're reacting to foods that should be nourishing for your body and so that's kind of my view on it. I actually started to do better after I started to incorporate other high quality animal based foods and in terms of digestion as well as just like overall energy. I think a lot of people when they go carnivore start to see things about the lion diet and think oh like if I do the stricter version then I'll feel even better or it'll be even better and I just don't agree with that anymore and I don't see things that way and as you guys know my intention when I started the carnivore diet was never to be a carnivore forever or to do carnivore forever but it was to heal and that's always going to be my priority is figuring out what the best way to fuel my body is and to take care of my body so that I can be as healthy as possible and that's what I want to continue sharing with you guys and I will be sure to update you on some of the changes that I've made in my diet recently and sort of the reasons behind that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to try to make more videos soon. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and follow along on Instagram and I will look forward to seeing you guys again next time.